All right, so this is uh, today was the final of the Magnus Carlsen chess tour between Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura. And as you know, uh, it just keeps alternating every day. Nakamura wins set one, Carlsen wins set two. Nakamura wins set three, Carlsen wins set four. Nakamura wins set five, Carlsen wins set six. So here we are in set seven. I like that terminology, set. Sounds more like a tennis match, doesn't it? Anyways, uh, so how did it turn out? Well, let's discuss it. So, uh, first game, Carlson wins the first game of the set in his typical fashion. Again, the analogy I use is like a, a, uh, a crawfish uh, picking at a frog. Just little moves, little moves, little moves, little moves, little moves. And then before you know it, Nakamura was finished. That game is over. Second game, a predictable draw which is favorable to Carlson. So now there's more pressure on Nakamura uh, in game three uh, type of thing. So what happened? Well, Nakamura went for it and he went on the offense and it was fantastic. And he put uh, Carlson in a bad position where Carlson's pieces weren't really doing much. And you'll see, I'll show you the position. Uh, and he wins it. Way to go, Nakamura. Uh, game four. Ooh. So in the blitz, what happens in the first one? Nakamura comes out swinging. And quite frankly, he dominated this. Uh, again, he put Carlson on the defensive. These complex positions where he makes Carlson chew up his time and think a lot work really well. And then Nakamura was relentless. And, and then and Nakamura comes out on top. He wins it. So all he has to do is draw. And does he do the draw? Well, it looked like it might be a draw. It was a complex position with some, some liquidating, etc., etc. But Carlson's really good at getting those pawns down there, and uh, that's what causes so much troubles. Uh, you know what they say: the power of the pawn in the end game. And this didn't even quite get to a true blue, full-blown end game. Just m towards the end of the middle game, actually. Well, he takes it, so it's it's a draw. He comes back again. Typical of the whole match. Nakamura gets the lead, Carlson comes back. Nakamura gets the lead, Carlson comes back. So what happened in the Armageddon? Well, Carlson, uh, he picked black. He got to choose the color. Nakamura has white, and as you know, in our Armageddon, white has an extra minute, but if drac uh, black wins or draws, uh, draws goes a win for black. So it started off pretty doggone even. Uh, Nakamura kind of came out swinging, uh, but there's a couple key moments here, uh, and here's the first one I feel uh, is you got the uh, knight over on the H file, you got the queen there on the dark squares, and I thought Nakamura should have uh, pushed his pawn, uh, but he didn't do it. He did a different move, and then Carlson prevented that uh, by just moving a pawn, so he's got two pawns protecting the dark square. Uh, and then the other one is the queen to A3, it was kind of a difficult one. Uh, by that point, Nakamura was on the defensive. However, towards the end of the middle game, um, you see this position that I'm going to show you right here. And Nakamura went for the pawn. Uh, they ended up trading a bunch of pieces, and then it was Nakamura with a queen to uh, Carlson's uh, pawns, multiple pawns, or sorry, multiple minor pieces and an extra pawn or two. And the truth is, uh, Carlson held on and he won the darn thing. Uh, but go back to that position, I thought, and even uh, Sarawan made a small comment, hey, what about moving the knight over here uh, and putting the king in check? Uh, and then that would have resulted in uh, Carlson taking Nakamura's knight, but Nak uh, Nakamura would get Carlson's uh, rook. I thought that would be a better ending for Hikaru, but that's not what he did, and that's not how it turned out. So, fun, fun match. Uh, I am disappointed. I want uh, Hikaru Nakamura to win. I'm just a fan of his. Nothing against Carlson. He deserves the victory. He was resilient, back pain, came back from the dead so many times. A dogfight of a match, and usually just takes a little bit in these things to determine the winner between two top level players like they are. I'm hoping uh, Nakamura can get Carlson in the future. I just want to see him. Uh, win. I just like Nakamura. So one other small thing, the announcing crew of Sarawan and Leko was fantastic. And Tanya, they're just a great team. 
my only suggestion, just an opinion for Sarah Ron, I've read a bunch of his books. He's a super announcer, super player, super person, super nice. But when he thinks that someone's talking too loud instead of just saying, hey, let's keep it down a little bit, he's too nice to say that. So he'll say, uh, wow, we don't want to speak too softly, Peter. We don't want the players to hear us. Well, Lecco had a good comeback at the end. He's like, I don't think that is a concern to the players. They cannot hear us. Uh, they got more on their mind than that. I, I think uh, only suggestion for improvement. When Yasser wants people to talk not so loud, just be more direct. Don't be indirect. It works for a little kid, but not for an adult like Lecco. So, and I didn't, as a, a fan listening, I didn't think Lecco was ever too loud. He's just enthused, and I thought it was great. Anyways, whole thing was great. I hope they do something like this again. Sports, Sports. Blab, over and out.